Hi, I'm John the Engineer, running in the Toronto Centre by-election, and I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for contesting most elections, also for losing most elections. So they certainly have a lot of fun when Super Loser fails again. Now, I'm going to tell you why I keep running, and I hope it doesn't scare you too much, or that it does. Fukushima is like a fuse. And when it goes off, we say, well, okay, it's already taken out some of the Japanese people, but when it goes off, it'll take out the rest. It's only Japan. You know, we'll see how we can cope over here. But the problem is they got a couple of dozen other nuclear fuel dumps. And three days later, when there's no more fuel going to the cooling pumps, what's going to happen? They're going to go off. A cascade of nuclear explosions as the workers manning the fuel pumps aren't there anymore. And then once all of Japan goes, well, they're going to take out half of China. And of course, three, four days later, once their fuel, their nuclear dumps explode, take out the rest of China and India and Pakistan. And three, four days later, when they can't cool theirs no more, they'll take out Russia and Europe. And eventually the whole world within two, three weeks will cascade into extinction. And Fukushima's the fuse and they don't have enough money to fix it. Well, I'm the only banking systems engineer on the planet, and I have a way of funding the cleanup, so listen up. I was invited to the Rogers to do a three, four minute speech because the main four parties were to share a live hour debate while all the minor parties got a few minutes after. So I went there and I did my tape and there were a few glitches. So I had to do a second take and uh, you get to hear both takes and then anything else in between. Here it comes. Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel and this is my 79th election campaign. I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for running more elections than anyone else in history and losing more elections than anyone else in history. That's why they have fun saying stuff like, Super Loser fails again. Well, what's interesting is, if you Google for Great Canadian Gambler, I come up. I was known as the professor at the Taj Mahal poker room in Atlantic City of Rounders fame. I wrote the book, Play Hold'em Poker Like a Bookie, and I'm the best long odds Hold'em poker player on the planet. So how do you figure Super Loser with Super Winner? What's going on? Well. I'm here to tell you about a way to possibly save ourselves. Why am I so scared? Fukushima. People don't appreciate how deadly this is. Do you remember when the Fukushima plume was approaching the West Coast in uh, March and April of 2011? And on March 25th, the government turned off the fallout detectors. They didn't want to scare you. Now, baby deaths tripled, and I was the only politician during the general election screaming, Duck and cover! Now, if you Google or YouTube for Prime Minister of the Planet, I come up. Well, what would I do about this? Well, first I'm going to tell you about the truth. If Fukushima goes, Japan goes. And then what happens to those other nuclear reactors with no people around and no coolant? They're going to go too in a nuclear cascade. So Fukushima is the fuse, and once it goes, then the Chinese reactors and the Russian reactors around Europe and only Africa and South America will be spared for last. Deadly stuff, scary stuff. So what do we do about it? Well, how come we haven't been using maximum manpower to put out the fuse? No money. Well, if you look on YouTube at my channel, you'll find a whole playlist called Argentine Solution which is how Argentina went from broke in 2001 to all foreign debt paid off in 2006. The union said, you're not going to lay anybody off. You're going to print small denomination provincial bonds we can use to pay for hydro taxes, medical and licenses, HTML, so everybody else will take them. They did, no layoffs, full employment, all foreign debt paid off in five years. That's how they did that. You weren't told. I've been talking about paying the workers to decommission nuclear in Canada and fund as many foreign workers to bury Fukushima fuse before it goes off. So, now, yeah, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, this is the radiation report on 
Toronto rainwater last year, you know, and it's in Ottawa. You can go on YouTube and find out. I did a video. It says pet fish dead. Check your outdoor ponds. They're gone. You know, why is, guess what? Fish belly up in, the, in that little pool and kids belly up in the other pool pretty soon too. So things are really bad. And what have I done about it? Well, this is the 119th day of a fast. YouTube for Cure All Fast. You're going to have to get lean and mean so your cells become efficient if you're going to fight off the cancers because they can't get lean and mean. So, 119 days later, go see how I did it. But I'm trying to pick off my Fukushima cancers before they get big. I've also lost 50 pounds, so it's not like I didn't eat. I was eating two quarter pounders of fat every day, if you think about it. So, 48 pounds later, my report tomorrow night at the Brantford Inventors Club. I may go another week or two. Who knows? I ain't even hungry yet. That's what I'm doing. Now, you better get desperate and lean and mean too. But... I'm running in this election, and you're not going to get to hear about me after the other candidates bore you with their concerns and their priorities of what they'd like to see done without ever telling you how they're going to do it or pay for it. Maybe most people aren't even going to get to hear this about how John, the engineer, could pay to bury nuclear before the fuse goes off and the cascade takes effect all over the planet. This is extinction mode. This is the fuse burning in front of your faces, and you're sitting there, and I'm getting excluded? Nothing I can do. When I was excluded from another Rogers debate, I took the CRTC to the Supreme Court of Canada, case 33319, and they said Rogers has the right to exclude participants from the live debates. And then I have to sign a consent, usually, and then they can chop it up and do what they want with it. So uh, that's what the Dragons then did to me. Watch Dragon's Den. Go see the whole show at YouTube. I got the video when I sued him for defamation. So, you're not going to have your friends hear about this, probably, the Argentine solution. But, when you think about it, I'm the only guy who's explained how we can pay to bury the fuse before it goes off. Well, if Super Loser fails again, he who laughs last laughs best, and I ain't going to be happy laughing in heaven. So wise up, spread the word, vote for one of the do-nothing parties, super loser fails again, you're going to deserve what you're going to get, and I'm your last hope. Johnny Engineer Termel, signing off. Okay, that was good, John. I'm just going to... I'm going to need you to do that again because you were stepping out. Do of what? Life. The whole thing? <laughs> oh, no. Well, okay. I'm going to copy. Okay, I've got to copy both. Yeah. Sure. Because <gasps> every time you stepped in here, your light, your face was in total darkness. All right. And the only Four, thing. Five, I'm six, cool with everything that you said, but the dragon stand thing we might get in trouble for. Why? Uh, because you're attacking another. Uh, channel. No, I'm just mentioning that I took them to the Supreme Court of Canada. Okay. And if somebody wants to go and find out about the case, okay. you know, it's a public event. Okay. And then the thing about Rogers TV. I got I, I got to mention that. You, you know, did I mention mean, it. I just warning you that my supervising producer might have me edit that out. Well, again, uh, if 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 they dare, then. Uh, okay. No, I just want you to be aware. Okay, that would be a silly thing to do, though. I mean. I got a right to complain about not being on you the live debate. You totally do. Yeah, and that's it's it. Just, uh, it's only 30 seconds, you know. And, uh, and I point out that I went to the Supreme Court once no. to be told, you got a right to do it. Yes, you totally have a right to do it. Um, but at the same time, Rogers has the right to take it out. Well, if they want to, then, uh, then that will be a nice story. Maybe I can sue them over that, too. <laughs> That's, you know, that's I'm litigious, you know. I mean, I know that you are. They gotta take their bangs. They beat me up at the top. I get to beat them back, you know. No, no, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that you. Like, uh, all, all I'm saying is that yes, we we we've invited you here. That's more than in, any other channel has done. I I know, but I know, but you know, yes. again, uh, you shouldn't. You should never even suggest that. So anyway, let's go. You okay. Know, they can do what they gotta do. Yes. Okay, so I will count you in again. All right. Okay, so in three, two, one. Hi, I'm 
John the Engineer Turmel, and I'm running in my 79th election, a Guinness record. I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for running in more elections and losing more elections than anyone else. That's why they have fun with headlines like, Super Loser Fails Again. Well, why would I do this? Well, I'm scared of Fukushima. That's the problem. Fukushima is like a fuse because if it goes, then all of Japan goes, and then who's going to cool down the rest of their nuclear reactors? And when they go, there's a cascading effect that it's going to take out China and Russia and Europe, North America, because when the workers die, the reactors are going to go off. So yeah, I'm very scared because when the original Fukushima plume was hit in the West Coast back in 2011, on March 25th, federal government turned off the fallout detectors. They didn't want to scare them. Baby deaths tripled. And I was the only politician during that election, if you go to my YouTube channel, saying, duck and cover, get out of the nuclear rain. Well, they didn't, and they got what they deserved. But sadly, it can only get worse. The problem is getting catastrophic now. It's a fuse with a cascade waiting to go. Now, what have I done about it? Well, this is the 119th day of a fast. YouTube for cure all fast. When you hunker down your cells in a fast, they get more efficient, but cancer and tumors can't hunker down. So what's the body gonna autolyze, cannibalize first? A brain cell or a fat cell? Heart cell or a tumor cell? That's why you're gonna have to get lean and mean to survive what's coming. And you can see my videos, cure all fast. I'll be giving my final report, maybe, to the Brentford Inventors Club tomorrow night. But I've dropped 48 pounds trying for 50, but I don't know if I'll make it. And uh, what can I say? I feel better, I haven't been weak, you can go see how to do it too. Now, that's what I've done about it, but what can we do about it? Well, there's not enough money to fix it. And that's why we haven't done our best so far. Now, in Argentina, in 2001, they were broke. 2006, all foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? Well, the union said, you're not going to lay anybody off. We want you to print up small denomination bonds. We'll take in our pay if we can use them for HTML, hydro taxes, medical, and licenses, so everybody else will take them like money, too. Well, they did that. No layoffs, more employment, all foreign debt paid off in five years. Didn't make the news, except that my channel, Argentine Solution Playlist. Go find out how they did it. Now, Russia, when they crashed in the 1990s, 750 states and local governments issued their own bond bucks. It works. So when you're desperate, now I want to do the same thing for Fukushima. Now, if you Google for Prime Minister of the Planet, you'll see I'm the only person coming up. Because I'm the only person who has a solution that can save the planet by fixing the lack of funding. So I want to use the Argentine solution to pay unemployed people to decommission nuclear in our advanced countries and to take the tax credit bonds of the Japanese workers who are burying the fuse right now. And if we don't do the Argentine solution, the fuse is going to go off, the cascade is going to take effect, and there'll be nothing more you can do about it. So this is probably going to be one of your last chances to vote for the Argentine funding solution to pay to decommission nuclear. Now, it's sad that Rogers isn't letting me on the live debate. They get a full hour, I get three minutes. But I, last time that happened, I went to the Supreme Court of Canada, case 33319, and they ruled that Rogers had the right to exclude candidates they don't want. And then when I was on Dragon's Den, they made me sign a consent and they've got to chop my stuff up and make me look silly. And I took that to the Supreme Court of Canada too, case 34482, lost. They've got a right to chop my stuff up. So I don't know what's going to get out. I do know that if you have a chance to spread the word, if you don't, if Super Loser fails again, good chance you're going to be dead a lot sooner than you ever fail. So, go see how I'm protecting myself from what's coming. It's already here. You've got to hunker down. After the plume hit, West Coast got 150 hot particles in April. And the, which explains all the recent deaths and cancers and all that stuff out there and here too. So, if you want to learn how to hunker down and if you want to know more about the Argentine solution that could fund our salvation, you've got to go search for it and then vote for John the Engineer Turmel in your last chance. 
come up with the Argentine solution before the Fukushima fuse goes off. Johnny Engineer Turmel saying, go check out my video, Turmel and Justin Trudeau, because Kid Trudeau's no, got no answers either. Well, if Super Loser fails again to get your vote to use the Argentine solution to pay workers with bonds that they can use for hydro taxes, medical and licenses, so everybody else will take them, and maximize funding to decommission nuclear in Canada and the rest of the world, while at the same time maximizing funding to put out the fuse at Fukushima, well, this could be your last life and death choice. So, if you can vote, do so. If you have friends in Toronto Centre, tell them there are going to be another bunch of repeats coming up. There's going to be on Rogers 10 in Toronto, Thursday, November 14th, 7.30, Friday, November 15th, 8.30 a.m., Monday, November 18th, 7.30 a.m. and 10.30 p.m., Tuesday, November 19th, 11.30 a.m., Wednesday, November 20th, 7.30 p.m., and Thursday, November 21st, 8 a.m. And I come on after the four main party candidates spend one hour telling you how concerned they are and what they'd like to see done about it without ever telling you once how they're going to get it done. So those repeats are coming up. I'd also like to know if Rogers edited anything from my statement that they didn't like where I criticized Rogers for excluding me from the live debate. And I criticized the CBC for chopping up my Dragon's Den episode and making me look bad. So if it happened, let me know. Send me an email at johnturmel at yahoo.com or post it at Facebook. Let me know. Bye.